Hello everyone and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to change the size of circles depending on how many are in the view. For example, I've created this jittered bar chart. Right now, the circles are really small because I have lots of marks in the view. If I filter the data, let's say down to just D1, you'll see the circles get bigger. Filter down to a specific position and they get even bigger. Less marks in the view, the bigger the circle. So how do we build something like this? Let's get to it. For those of you that are new here, my name's Andy. I created this channel to help you become a great data analyst. If you enjoy what you see, please don't forget to click on subscribe. I'd hate for you to miss any of the tips that I create. In this example, we're gonna build a map of profit by postal code. As we filter down to a smaller geographic area, we want the circles to get bigger. Start by double clicking on country, double click on state, and then double click on postal code. Drag profit to the color shelf. Change the mark type from automatic to a circle. Now there's little halos around each of the circles. So click on the color shelf and set the halo to none. Okay, so now we have all these marks in the view, but because there's so many, I want them to be a bit smaller. To do that, we're gonna count the number of marks that are in the view and divide that by the total number of marks in the data set. So let's create a new calculated field. Call it mark size. To count the number of marks that are in the view, we're gonna use a window calculation. Window count, and we're gonna use the attribute of postal code. And we wanna use attribute here because the postal code is a unique field, and we wanna count each one of them one time. We're gonna divide that by the total number of postal codes that are in the data set. To get that number, we're gonna create a level of detail expression. Let's start with the mustachio, count D for count distinct, and postal code. Close off the mustachio. Now we're getting an error message that says we can't mix aggregate and non-aggregate. That's because the denominator our level of detail expression is not an aggregate. So let's wrap that in a sum. The error message is gone, and now we can click on okay. Essentially what this is doing is it's determining the percentage of marks that are in the view compared to the total number of marks in the data set. Drag mark size to the size shelf. Right click on that field and choose edit table calculation. Choose specific dimensions and make sure all of the options are checked. Close that window. On the right hand side, double click on the marks legend. Change the size from automatic to by range. Set the start value to zero and the end value to one. When the start value is zero, that means 0% zero of the marks are in the view. When the end value is one, that means every mark in the data set is in the view. We wanna reverse the colors though, because the more marks there are in the view, in other words, the higher percentage, we want the marks to be smaller. You can drag the range to make them the size that you like. Click on okay and notice our marks are a bit smaller now. Let's see what happens when I filter to a specific region. Right click on region and choose show filter. On the filter on the right hand side, let's uncheck east and south and west. And now notice my circles got bigger because there's fewer of them in the view. Maybe I now wanna filter by state. Right click on state and choose show filter. What you might notice here is that there's states in the filter that are not in central. Well, this is a special tip for this video we can actually make one filter dependent on another filter. To do that, click on the triangle and the state filter and choose only relevant values. And now I only see states in the central region. Let's drill down to just Texas. Uncheck all and then choose Texas. And now the circles are even bigger because we have fewer marks in the view. Let's go ahead and reset the view. I'm gonna choose all states and all regions and notice how my mark shrunk down because now there's more of them in the view. I hope you now understand how to change the size of the marks in the view depending on how crowded the view is. If you enjoyed this tip, please give it a like. That'll help other people find it too. And remember, click on that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss any videos that I create. Have a great day.